Hey guys, Steve Houston. Welcome back to my channel. Glad to have you here. I'm grateful you took the time out of your day to come watch one of our videos. Thank you again. Today, I wanted to kind of showcase our agency's know before you go system of working and training our agents, especially our new agents, to become self sufficient agents with a high success rate in getting their clients approved for the right coverage at the right price given their medical conditions. What we call a CQS or the client qualification process with our agents. Our know before you go system is being able to work with our agents before, during, and after their sale. So they're not burdened by not having a deep understanding of products and underwriting requirements when they get started. We want them to get started and get paid in the first 30 days. And many agents get stuck in learning all the products and then figuring out what the knockout questions are and the underwriting questions for each different product based on someone's medical condition. And so we fix that problem, we believe, and it equates into a high success rate for our agents early on. In other words, again, our goal is to get them in, get them running appointments, get them running apps, protecting families, and getting paid. I believe and strongly believe this for many, many years, that you learn this business by doing, not by sitting around reading books or underwriting grids or guide product brochures and those type of things. So, again, short video, but packed full of information. This is part one of two, and we're going to go through how to use bill charts to increase your success rate in not only just writing an application and predicting a client, but actually getting that policy issued and you getting paid commission. There's too much of in this industry about all the business that people are writing. It doesn't matter what they write, right? It's only one indicator. What really matters is getting it pushed out on the other end and getting that policy issued, get the client covered, and get you paid. So appreciate it again if you watch the video. Do me a favor, uh, leave me a comment. Hit that subscribe button, click the bell, because in the next video, we're going to take a deep dive into the second phase of qualifying your client. Uh, if you're taking notes, which I hope you are, there are two things to keep in mind. Actually, there are three things to keep in mind when you're putting together, uh, when you book an appointment, right? So you buy yourself some leads, you dial your leads, you book some appointments, and then you turn around and you now have this client qualification sheet. And um, I want you to begin to have an idea of what to do with these sheets to begin to put together what the best options are for that client. One of the strengths of the Promise Keeper system is that know before you go, right? It's the strength of going in to either sit with your client face to face or whether it's virtual and having your options already put together in front of you because it does a few things. It shows your client that you have done some of your due diligence before you, you turned the camera on or before you sat down at their kitchen table. And that is really, in my opinion, one of the really important points. It shows that you are not there to spend your entire time with your face in your phone, right? Or on your laptop or on your iPad, trying to frantically run rates or figure out what the best option is or figure out what they qualify for. So the cornerstone to the know before you go is just that, knowing before you go to the appointment, right? Being prepared with what you're gonna offer that client ahead of time. So the three pieces that are really the most important are one, health, two, product, and number three, amount. So what we're really trying to do is we're trying to create the perfect triangle between those three things, between someone's health, between the product that they qualify for and the amount that is the most fitting. Both of these documents, if you scroll all the way down, all I'm doing is just scrolling through the document. The very last page is the infamous build chart that everybody seems to miss. You, you've got to make sure. Don't mention, don't mention names. <laughs> Daryl, you're not alone. Uh, everybody misses this. Everybody says, I don't know where the bill chart is. Um, so on the whole life or final expense um, underwriting grid, as well as on the uh, term universal life underwriting grid, there is a bill chart at the, on the last page and they are different. Right? Give me a thumbs up if you understand that they are different. 
the um, build maximums, which means the maximum height and weight that your client can be, is going to be less forgiving on the term universal life side than it is on the, on the whole life side. So it's a little bit more forgiving on the whole life final expense side. However, your clients must fit under the build chart, right? So if you have a client, let's just take the first one. If you have a client that is 4'8", 203 pounds, they don't qualify. And I have agents that come back to me and they call the underwriter and they want to argue with the underwriter. It's only two pounds. It doesn't matter. Two pounds is two pounds. The maximum is 201 pounds. 203 is over that, they're out. They don't qualify for that product. So uh, a good rule of thumb that I always tell all of you to do uh, is I don't check them when you send me your client qualification sheets. I expect that you do that. If your client has declined because of build, please don't let that be on you, okay? Because you didn't check. Um, and a lot of people will say, oh, no, no, he, he's, he's, he's fine, okay? Check the actual height and weight against this chart. That's how you know. The first time that you guess is the first time that your client is going to be one pound over and be declined. Uh, these products, because a nurse doesn't physically go out, um, these products are um, a little bit more forgiving on the weight, but they are what they are. And one pound over is one pound over. Okay, everybody got that? Okay. Did, did I did I give you guys way too much information? Are your are your heads just are your eyeballs just rolling? No. Okay, let me stop this. Okay, so what's our homework for next week? Underwriting grids, carrier contracts, and the last piece. Are you ready? I want you to have at least one client qualification sheet with you at least one. You should be booking between 10 and 15 appointments for this coming week. And Chuck and Josh are gonna talk about that and tomorrow's dialing event. But for my next Friday night's call, have those three things with you. One, that you have either requested or completed the contracting with those carriers, both underwriting grids and at least one client qualification sheet and we'll do something special for you guys, okay? Okay. And this is Angela. And we're making a living 100% virtually, anytime, anywhere. While making a difference. Living the dream. While we travel the country. And we can help you do the same. Come along with us. We're grateful you're here. Subscribe to the channel and like the videos. Bye. Goodbye.